Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared a very easy problem for you. Uh, as usual I recommend you to pause the video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So first of all uh, this problem about the hybrid cross, usually we uh, build a Punnett square in order to solve such problems that is um, because here we have two traits, so our Punnett square have to be 4 by 4 with 16 cells. But uh, today I am going to show you the easy way how to solve this problem without um, spending much time to build a large Punnett square. And of course you can use the same principles, you can apply the same principles in order to solve many many analogous problems. So, uh, in the hybrid cross of heterozygous pea plant with purple flowers and round seeds, uh, as you see, we have a heterozygous condition for both genes. What is the probability that, and here is the four answers to choose from. So, as you see, we have two traits. One is uh, color of the flowers. And another trait is a shape of the seeds. So two traits here. And basically our problem states that we have to self-pollinate these plants or self-cross. So we have to uh, cross genotypes that is capital P and small p with capital R and small r with another genotype that is also the same capital P small p and capital R and small r. So, uh, because nothing is said uh, that these two genes that um, control these two traits are on the same chromosome, we have to estimate that this is uh, two genes that is not related and uh, independently segregate and are located on different chromosomes. So we can build a Punnett square for each gene separate. So we have um, one trait that is uh, stand for the uh, color of the flowers. So we have to cross capital P and small p with another genotype that is also capital P and small p. And when we build a Punnett square, we can find all the probabilities of different colors. So, uh, purple flower, as you see, stands for, or this genotype stands for the purple color. So, we can assume that capital P stands for the purple color and small p stands for the absence of color or white color. Of course, genotype that is capital P, capital P would produce purple color. And in simple Mendelian genetics, uh, heterozygous genotype also would produce purple color. Because this is simple dominance and genotype that is small p. Small p would produce flowers that is going to be white. And three quarters. Here we have uh, flowers that is going to be purple. So three quarters probability if we uh, cross two parents that is both heterozygous for this gene that the progeny would have purple flowers and one quarter probability that the progeny would have white flowers. Let's now um, talk about um, shape of the seeds. So capital R and small r, this heterozygous genotype, uh, means round seeds. And that means that um, dominant allele R stands for the round seeds. So we have capital R and small r genotypes that we have to cross with another heterozygous genotype. Once again, when we build a Punnett square, 
we can predict all the genotypes and phenotypes. Capital R, capital R here, capital R and small r here, capital R and small r here, and small r, small r here. Once again, these three genotypes in simple Mendelian genetics would make uh, round seeds. So three quarters of the progeny would have round seeds and one quarter of the progeny would have ring seeds, one quarter. Or I can designate it like this shape. So uh, now we can return to our problem. As you remember, in the hybrid cross, we have to expect ratio that is going to be 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio. Let's now check. So, um, question A, what is the probability that uh, if we self-pollinate this dehybrid uh, plant, uh, that progeny uh, would be white-flowered pea plant with round seeds so this is uh, color and this is um, shape of the seeds. So white flowered, as you remember, looking at this uh, Punnett square, probability would be one quarter. So one quarter for the plants to have white flowers and round seeds as you see, probability is 3 quarters. So we have to multiply by 3 quarters. And our answer would be 3 sixteenths. So this is probability of this phenotype. Now let's take a look at the question P. A purple flowered P. So this is one trait. So purple flower probability is three quarters. So three quarters and round seeds. And probability of the round seeds also would be three quarters. This is two independent probabilities. That's why we have to use multiplication rule. We have to multiply probability that these two probabilities would happen simultaneously. And answer here would be 9 over 16. Now question C. A white flowered pea plant. So white flowered pea plant. And probability is 1 quarter. So 1 quarter probability for this trait to appear in uh, progeny. Uh, and ring seeds. And the probability is one quarter for this trait. So we have to multiply by one quarter. And the answer would be is one over 16. And the last question, a purple flowered pea plant. So this is one trait and probability is three quarters. So three quarters and ringed seeds and uh, probability is one quarter so we have to multiply by one quarter and the answer would be 3 over 16 once again, take a look at this ratio, 9, 3, 3 to 1. In the hybrid cross, we have 3, 1, 9, 3. So the same ratios as we have here. And as you see, this is a very simple way how to solve such problems. Just uh, separating two traits, making two separate uh, Punnett squares and using uh, different probabilities for each trait and uh, of course when uh, the question is about what is the probability two traits happen simultaneously we have to use a product rule in order to find such probabilities 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.